today we are trying to teach the students the differences uh, that can occur whenever you just use different types of uh, wood to use to apply smoke to the meat and so this week we're actually using uh, chicken thighs and we didn't season them at all no salt no pepper no seasoning so that the students could really pick up on the different flavorings that the smoke is actually giving the meat itself and so we're using several different woods we're using a pecan uh, and all of these four woods that we're using today are the four main ones that you find uh, in the state of Texas. And so we have pecan, which is a little bit softer wood, and then we also have mesquite, and this is a very popular wood, mainly because it's so popular across Texas just on how it grows and everything. It's very plentiful, and, uh, and lots of people can find it, whether they're from East Texas or West Texas. We also have uh, hickory here, and then the last wood that we're using today is oak, which is a little bit more uh, prevalent in East Texas and Central Texas. There's all kinds of wood chips, uh, different ones that are uh, soaked in different things. Um, last year we had one that was soaked in a bourbon. It was actually made out of the barrels uh, that they used to age the bourbon in. And then whenever you actually smelled uh, the wood chips, you could really pick up on the bourbon uh, flavor or smell, uh, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, this year, one of the different ones that we found, it was a Tabasco wood chip, um, and so whenever you smell it, you can really, uh, it really does smell like Tabasco because it's also from the barrels that they age the product in as well. One of the things that, that we're doing today is looking at different kinds of smokes. And so one of the things, woods have different compounds within them that whenever they're heated, smoke comes off and they have uh, various chemicals that impart various kinds of flavors. Some are stronger flavors, some are milder flavors. Obviously the fruit woods have different kinds of flavors. In Texas, the four common woods that we see used quite a bit are hickory and mesquite and pecan and oak and a lot of that depends on what part of the state you're in but those would be kind of the big four that you would see. The nice thing that you have today is that you can actually get the the wood even in little chips is that come pre-packaged and so those are very easy to find and so one of the things that you can do you can build a fire with charcoal and then put the chips on there some people say wet them down before you put them on so they'll smoke more. I've read others who just say just put them on there, but it's the smoke that comes from that. And it's always important to put the smoke on early in the cooking process as the meat is uh, starting to cook because it'll really impart the smoke characteristics a lot more. There are some kinds of woods like mesquite that are very strong, so you have to be careful about how much you might use. And I've heard people that will talk about that's really good for using a short cooking process versus a longer time because you might get uh, an even stronger. Uh, you know, the universal wood that probably is well loved is hickory because it's got such a great uh, flavor to it. But again, in Texas, we'd see a lot of oak used, uh, especially in the central Texas barbecue places. And again, you get further west and you'll see uh, places that raise a lot of pecans, a lot more pecan wood that is used there. So this week we did chicken thighs and it was all about showing the students how different woods could affect the flavor based off of the smoke that it gave off. Um, so this week we actually had a very, very close race between the four uh, woods that we used. And our top one actually was mesquite which is uh, kind of indicative of how often it's used um, in barbecue industry in Texas in general because it's so prevalent across the state. Uh, followed by that was hickory and oak, which were actually tied. And uh, both were very close to the mesquite actually, but just didn't quite receive the same number of votes. But it's a very neck and neck race. And pecan was last. Um, it was an overall dislike amongst the group. Um, for individuals who didn't like it. They didn't uh, feel like the flavor was as good um, and it may have been too strong for them. The, the pecan was um, definitely darker in appearance um, and it shows us that there's a lot more smoke on those um, thighs um, and that would have given it a different flavor profile um, and a lot of people didn't find that appetizing. 